Hello and welcome to our channel, Cheating Exposed. Today, we're revealing another story to uncover the truth behind the lies. So, let's get started. Me, 28 male, and my wife, 30 female, have been married for 4.5 years and have a beautiful little girl who is 3. Last year, we bought a house, which came with a massive amount of stress due to being put through hell by the solicitors we were dealing with. Documents upon documents were required, information we had already sent was requested again, and we were being ghosted by them, until we sat on hold for hours waiting to speak to someone, each time being told something different. It was a tough time, but at long last, we got a house we both loved, and it would be amazing for our little one. We tried for a second child a few months after moving in, but it just wasn't happening. My wife began to worry that we couldn't conceive a second, as the first one had happened so quickly after trying for only a month. I had some reservations about having a second child so soon after the stress of moving, and I was trying to get a better job at the time so we could be more stable. I told her this, and she got really upset, thinking if we didn't try now, we would never conceive. I relented because I saw how much it meant to her, and I did want a second child, so we tried. Months rolled on until eventually, she fell pregnant. It was great, as she was immensely happy, but I had a nagging dread of responsibility that if I didn't get a better job soon, we would struggle with two children. I locked myself away for a few months, participating in online courses to try and gain the skills needed to move into a different career path, something we had discussed, and she seemed to be on board with. During this time, we did drift apart as I only saw her for a few hours at night during dinner, and then I would go upstairs to the study to continue with the courses. We grew distant and didn't really interact all that much. We still had a decent amount of sex for a married couple, at least once a week, often more. Fast forward three months, and we had a talk where I said I felt like we had grown apart and that we weren't like the oldest. Things had gotten a bit robotic with me trying to learn and study as quickly as possible to get a new job with a baby on the way. We agreed that we needed to take more time out for each other, as things had gotten a bit stale between us. We spoke more from that point onward, and she mentioned how happy she was at work with her team. One guy in particular, she seemed to mention more than anyone else in her stories. She changed almost overnight. Suddenly, she started doing things she wouldn't usually do. She was on her phone almost constantly, taking baths every single day immediately after work, shaving her legs routinely, and really going to town with makeup and moisturizer. I questioned her about it at the time. She responded that because she was getting bigger, she wanted to take better care of herself and feel a bit better about herself. I bought it. Understandable, right? She was worried about her weight, so I thought it was good she was doing these small things that made her feel better. There were other things as well, small signs that gave me the idea that things weren't as they appeared. She was staying later after work and wanting me to go upstairs earlier at night to put our daughter to bed. Still, I didn't suspect anything and trusted her 100%. One day, out of the blue, she asked if it was okay to go away for the night to see an old school friend she hadn't seen in a long time. I said, sure, that's fine, it would be great for her to catch up. It didn't even cross my mind that she could be having an affair with a guy from work, or anyone else, for that matter. A week or so later, my mother-in-law visited and told a story about her friend, who was going through a divorce. Her friend had found texts on her husband's phone that revealed he was having an affair. My mother-in-law and I discussed how awful it must have been and how we couldn't imagine ever getting to a stage where we felt the need to check our partner's phone. I looked at my wife during this conversation, and for the tiniest split second, I saw a flash of unease and fear wash over her face. Then, it was gone in a blink, and the conversation continued. That was when I started putting things together. I didn't actually believe she had done anything, but there was something nagging at the back of my mind. As I connected the dots, I became more and more concerned. After she had gone to bed, when I would usually be studying, I walked into the bedroom, and it was like I'd caught her in the middle of something. She was in bed and had quickly pulled the covers up to her chin as I entered. I asked if she was okay, had a small chat about a few things, and kissed her goodnight. 
My mind was now on red alert. I knew her password from when we got together, so I logged into her social media accounts on my computer back in my study. What I saw was worse than I could have imagined. They had been sending each other videos of themselves being intimate and talking dirty for the past week. She had been doing it when she went to bed while I was studying after putting our child to bed. The conversations made it clear that they had been having sex at work and had even done it in our house while I was at work. I also found out he was almost 20 years older than her and had a wife and two kids of his own. She had been doing things with him that she would never do with me intimately. He would give her for assignments each morning, what to wear, how to talk to him, etc., and she was absolutely loving it. She suggested they book a hotel because she couldn't bear the thought of being away from him and said she would tell me she was meeting up with an old school friend. The messages indicated that she was the one pushing things further and further, planning around our schedule to have quick meetups whenever she could. Pure adrenaline rushed through me as I saved everything I could from those conversations, and I slept next to my daughter that night. Well, I didn't actually sleep, I just laid there, thinking and crying. She left for work the next morning, and I didn't say anything. It was hard to do, but I didn't really know what to say. She got all doled up and was as happy as could be when she left, and it crushed me. I had planned to confront her when she got home. My mother-in-law came to collect our daughter, as she usually looked after her while we were both at work, and I broke down and told her everything. She was extremely sympathetic and disappointed. When my wife came home, she knew she'd been found out. I vented. I wanted answers. Why had she done this? Was the baby mine? Did she love this other person? Did she want to stay with me? I had so many questions. Initially, she didn't say anything, she wouldn't answer. She just stared at the floor, zoning out, deep in thought. After ranting for a while, I asked if she could actually talk to me because her silence wasn't what I needed. She swore that it had only been in the last week that things with this guy escalated physically, which aligned with the messages I had saved. She claimed she didn't love him, that it was a stupid mistake, and that she wasn't thinking. She said it had nothing to do with me, that she still loved me. I had done nothing wrong. It was just an escape from what had become a monotonous life. She blamed her hormones and said she hadn't been well mentally for a while. I didn't know what to do. I went for a walk and called my mom, who lives far from us. She was understanding and told me to think carefully about everything, especially with our daughter and the baby on the way. I vented to her, then headed back home. Despite everything, I still loved my wife. I wanted to be together, to go back to how things were before all of this. In the interest of possibly salvaging our marriage for the sake of the kids, I didn't tell anyone else what had happened. That night, my wife stayed at my mother-in-law's house with our daughter so I could get some space, but it did little to ease my pain. I wanted to be with her. I called her and told her I missed her. She said she missed me too. The next night, we had sex, and it felt like nothing had happened. I felt like I needed to reclaim what had been taken from me, so I initiated it. We decided we did love each other, and that, although things were going to be rough for a while, we'd try to make it work. I just wanted to see what would happen when the baby was born. I couldn't give up so easily. I asked her to be 100% honest with me from then on. She went back to work and told me she'd moved offices to be away from him. She claimed they had talked, and she'd told him that her family was the most important thing to her and that they couldn't continue. He had asked her if that's what she truly wanted, and she'd reiterated it. We both went back to work, and at first, it was horrible. I would come home in a different mood every day, sometimes angry, sometimes crying, sometimes okay. I started trying to study less and spend more time with her, watching TV together, reading while she sat next to me, getting up with her in the mornings to say goodbye instead of staying in bed. It wasn't about checking if she was still messaging him, I had just realized that this was what I wanted. To be normal again. I started going to the gym, eating healthier, and taking better care of myself. Things between us were up and down. We'd have good days taking our daughter on outings and playing with her, 
and there was still some intimacy. Her parents even paid for us to go away to a spa, which was nice. After a few weeks, I started to believe that maybe this could work. Some good might come from all of this. But last week, she told me she had to go away on a business trip on a day she usually didn't work. That raised a red flag. I expressed my concern and asked her straight up if this was an excuse to meet up with him again. She reassured me, gave me the time and location she'd be, and even asked a friend to watch our daughter instead of her mom, which felt strange. Despite all that, things had been going well, and it was still early, just three weeks since D-Day. On the day of her trip, I went to work, bracing myself for anxiety. But surprisingly, I felt fine. It was my first and normal the day since everything happened. I saw how much effort she was putting into us and how upset she had been. I believed her. At lunch, she called and said her work plans had been cancelled, so she was coming home early. I suggested we grab lunch together, as she would be close to my work, but she said no. She just wanted to go home because her back hurt from the pregnancy, now five months in. I let it go and focused on work. When she got home, I asked how her day was. She shrugged it off, saying it had been boring and uneventful. We went to sleep, but I woke up in the middle of the night, my mind racing. Something didn't feel right. To calm myself, I checked her phone, and it showed she hadn't been where she said she would be. I confronted her as soon as she woke up. At first, she denied seeing him, but I pointed out all the evidence. Eventually, she admitted it. She claimed they had just met to clear the air, and both agreed to focus on their families moving forward. She assured me nothing else would happen between them. But I couldn't get over the fact that she had set up such an elaborate lie. She had still lied even after knowing I figured it out, and flat out denied meeting him when I'd asked earlier that day. She said they met at a cafe near his house and walked around the park for a couple of hours, just talking. To test her, I pulled up a picture of a random cafe on my phone, one nowhere near where she claimed she was, and asked if that was the one they had gone to. She said yes, another lie. I pointed out that the cafe wasn't even close to where she said she'd been, and she got defensive, yelling, I wasn't paying attention. It was all a blur. That's not proof I'm lying, I'm telling the truth. Nothing happened. The next morning, I tried one last test. I asked her to message him something like, I feel much better after yesterday, you? My plan was simple, if he responded innocently, maybe I could believe her. But if he said something dirty or anything about them being intimate again, I'd know it was over. She refused. I reached for her phone, saying I'd send the message if she wouldn't. That's when she went absolutely mad, screaming at me and snatching her phone away. She started typing furiously, and at that moment, it felt like a full confession. She admitted that she had lied again, this time about where she was, because she was afraid I'd leave if I knew she still wanted to talk to him. That was yesterday, and I haven't slept in 36 hours. We agreed she'd stay at her mother's house tonight, but I have no idea what to do. I can't believe she's pregnant with our child, I'm 99.9% .9 sure it's mine, and yet she's still sneaking around with this guy. I'm mentally destroyed. Well, folks that's all. Thank you all for listening. Please like, comment, and share the video if you enjoyed it. Also, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you will be notified when we upload the next video. Take care.